This is a difficult speech for me to give. Um, as you know, I am the spokesperson for the United States Association of Public Servants. And of the 20 million plus public servants working in the United States, we represent a little over 78% of them. Our membership has made a very difficult uh, life choice decision. And this comes after reading uh, a number of books. And some of these are audiobooks, some of these are short articles, some are actual books that hard copy the old fashioned kind <laughs> uh, that members have read. Uh, we offered them a large number of them, a grant was made, and after reading these, having a lot of online conversations, a lot of meetings and coffee shops with local groups, um, there's there's a, been a decision uh, that we have made, there's a several part decision, uh, and so I'm, I'm here today to tell you a few changes that you can expect. The first one is that we've realized that, and I, I've been guilty of this, uh, back when I was a public uh, defender, I, I used this, before that when I was in the planning department, I used this, I would do things that I knew were were not right. They were morally wrong for a human being to do to another human being, but I would make the excuse, well, I'm just doing my job. The state statute says that I can do this. The, the city ordinance says that I can do this. The code says, the case law says, and I realized that this is not, this is not a moral thing, and I need to put morality ahead of this this kind of silly and juvenile idea of, well, the law says it. The law is kind of, we've come to, we've come to realize it's kind of like, uh, we could call it magic scribbles. And it's not okay to just have these magic scribbles supersede what we know in our hearts and our minds is not a good way to treat another human being. And so, I've been thinking about this for years and, and been feeling guilty about the things that I did, even though everything I did was legal. The magic scribbles said that what I did was okay. But it came to a head when one of our members, a county treasurer, uh, came to us and was saying, you know, I, I, feel, I feel guilty. I have a guy come in the other day, and he's a rancher, and he had a good year, and so he bought this $80,000 pickup truck, and he came in, and here I am, the person across the counter from him expecting him to pay eighty four hundred dollars to, to to the government to me because he had a good year and he bought a truck that's gonna have to last him another ten years. This is wrong, she said. She says I I, I am essentially extorting or robbing this guy. And I'm not doing it with a, a knife in my hand or anything, but I'm basically saying to him, if if you don't pay me this money, then other people who also get a paycheck from this government or that government, a, a partner government organization, will pull you over and put you in jail or seize your vehicle, steal your vehicle from you, if you don't pay me this $8,400 today. And she says, I, I can't do this. I feel wrong about it. And she kind of brought this to a head. Uh, this is a conversation we've been having, and so that is the first big thing, is we will no longer, the members of our organization, the United States Association for Public Servants, we will no longer make the excuses of just doing my job. We will look at each thing in front of us, and we will say, is this the right thing to do? So if there's a, a county sheriff's deputy and he sees one man beating another man, uh, beating his head into the ground, is the right thing to do to pull the one man off of the other man. Absolutely. Our deputies will do that. They will 
protect property. They will protect life. What they will not do is trust politicians and professors who say, well, we think that maybe there are too many people of a certain race that are in prison, and because of that, we want you to go out and profile people, and, and we're going to centrally plan how we think society will work better, and we want you to go out and do all these preemptive, uh, write tickets to people, basically demand money from them if they don't have 25% of their commercial property in greenery or this kind of ridiculous stuff. We will not do that anymore. Our organization represents planners, represent law enforcement, represent administrators, we represent uh, prison officials, we, we represent a wide variety of people from dog catchers and garbage collectors and public works all the way up to, to some politicians or even a member of our, our organization. So, sorry this is taking a little bit for me to get this out, but uh, we will no longer be using the excuse of, well, but the law says it's okay, or I'm just doing my job. We realize that as moral human beings, that does not cut it anymore.